back to work. Go on. Hey everybody, Gears here with some more work on our pie. So in this case, the bearings weren't spinning quite as well as they could have. I was getting maybe a quarter turn out of it before it would essentially come to a stop, and it was fairly loud. When manually moved around, the circle moved fair enough, but it really should be able to spin freely. One of the common tricks is to replace the standard steel ball bearings with what are called Delron or Acetel bearings. But before I took these out, I had thought I needed maybe 150 or so uh, bearings to replace it. It turns out there's 252 steel bearings in this VXB 18 inch bearing. It's really like 17 and however many sixteenths inches across. And it just barely snugs into the R2 frame. So I had bought these 5 sixteenths, 100 of those, before I did the amount that I would need and I got the quantity wrong because I the size wrong it's really 3 sixteenths which is slightly smaller than 5 millimeters but wherever I looked I could not find a 5 millimeter bearing so on to the YouTube channel Paul's Projects he's an R2 builder as well and he pretty much covers uh, the basic way to do this before I watched that video I pulled the set screw out and the first thing he suggests is to use a marker and mark what direction the screw is facing so that way you know which way to turn it back into. So that was a bit of a mistake that I'll have to fix by checking the set screw before I close this up and see where it actually sits. The 3 16 I had 50 on hand initially just to make sure I had the size right before I ordered more. Those all fit fine enough, and these have all been in the ring once already. For the little bit of a spin I could get under the situation, it was certainly good enough. Now that I've got another 300 on top of that, I should have about 100, if not 98, less than needed. It's possible I may be able to add more, or it's possible I may be able to get away with less. We'll find out. I'll be using this white lithium grease and spray that along on the inside initially and then probably as I go. may even be able to just drop a bead of it all around the edges there when I'm done. So being 3 16 of an inch, just under 5 millimeters, they are real tiny and difficult to handle so it's going to be a bit of a chore keeping the ring together I think and I will need to be spinning it freely to help chug them along into their new home. So I'm, I just need something to cut the bags open with. So I guess I'll just do 50 at a time. So I didn't actually shoot my replacement of the ball bearings. It's a straightforward process. Uh, I used a fair amount of that lithium grease and wiping all the excess out. Go over to Paul's projects here on YouTube. He pretty much covers the whole thing. And a uh, couple notes that I do have is that the two things Paul says I should have done and I did not do was to, one, mark the direction of the screw in here so I knew which, how many turns or which way it would be facing. And then two, that I should label the top and the bottom as uh, both sides top or both sides bottom. And that is so you know to put the rings back together in the correct fashion because they may not fit properly if uh, one is upside down from the other. And it looks like that is the case in this case because you can see here that it spins kind of freely. But after a few revolutions it will start binding up. And uh, that could be because the bearings are 3 16 instead of 5 millimeters. And because they're that hair thinner, uh, the weight of the ring just stops the rotation. It could be that there are too many bearings in there. However, out of the few tests that I did, the more seemed better until I finally filled it all up. Or C, it could also be that the uh, rings are flipped to each other. So I'll be doing that test next, and I suppose I can record that and do the bearing swap at that point. Uh, whether I do that before R2LA at the end of September, 
we'll see. I probably should. It'll only be like an hour's process. It's just a matter of getting off my butt and doing it. So let me put the camera back a little and I'll show you how well this does actually spin. Or not well, as your definition may depend. Alright, so let me give this a few spins here. Yeah, so binding like that where all of a sudden it just chokes up. And looks like it's pinching here and here. Then over on this side, it's here and here, but definitely some up in there, too. Looks like I'm getting rid of a lot of grease out of here doing this. Let me get some paper towels. This is the first good amount of spinning that I've been giving this thing. So apart from it, and once it does bind up, it'll either free up immediately or there's a range that's binding up and then that can be worked through after a few tries or essentially it's being worked around the system presumably it's a kink in the balls if you can say that on YouTube yeah so there it's In addition to binding, it's also coming to a premature stop. That's a binding. That's one. There's also a different amount of them depending on which way the wheel is spinning. So if we flip this around here, See, this side it comes more to a stop before it should, but it's not a sudden choking as often. It does choke on this side too, though, like right there. Now, when compared to before the replacement, I could get about this much uh, spin out of it doing a full push. Much improved now. However, it's still not quite there. And as I said in now, as I said a few moments ago, there are three possibilities, and the first one to test is definitely going to be flipping the rings to each other, uh, because it could very well be that this used to be the bottom side and this used to be the top side, or the other way around, and now they just need that extra little bit to fit properly. You'd think something like this would be completely symmetrical, and that wouldn't matter. However, I suppose that is not quite the case. So I'm pretty sure I'll do the bearing work on this before R2LA in a couple weeks. I just need an hour or so probably. Flip that and then if I still have the problem then I can ask the guys there what they think might be going on. Apart from the fact that I should have gone with the Rockler brand rather than this close approximation for about half the price. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See ya.